everyone, let's talk about the Google helpful content update and when can we work on our sites? All right, guys, I'm just as frustrated as you were. We had the helpful content update launched and then ended. And shortly after that, we had the spam update start rolling out. And then we had the core update roll out one day after that. All right. And I know that we need to work on our sites. However, if you're seeing this in the SERPs, right now is not a good time to compare your content with your competitor's content. So let me show you what I'm seeing. All right. If you wanted to know how or why flamingos are pink, you would do a quick search. This is similar to a search I've been working on. And what I'm seeing is the SERPs are not steady. So at sometimes this national zoo is ranking first. Other times the Britannica is ranking first. Other times we had this other zoo ranking first. And sometimes we have Quora at the top. And then sometimes we have the new scientists at the very, very top. So at any moment or any day that I check, there's a different website ranking first. Now, if I compared my site to this second zoo site or the first zoo site or the scientist page and the SERPs then settle out and let's say the new scientist going to be at the top or even this BBC might be at the top and I compared it to the first Smithsonian's National Zoo that's at the top. I've then compared it and updated my content to the wrong site. So in the SERPs what I'm seeing they are not stable at least the niches that that I'm working in, they are not stable. This doesn't mean all of the SERPs are unstable. I certainly have clients that have stable SERPs that are not flipping back and forth. So what you want to do is take a look who is your first competitor, but then you want to take a look a few days in a row, multiple times a day, if you don't have a tool that will run a report for you and you want to see who's at the top and if it's flipping back and forth or if they're staying steady at the top. Now, if you don't have a tool to do it, you can certainly just do a couple of searches yourself and see which sites are at the top and then check again later that day and then check again every couple of days. Now, what I was finding is one day uh, the Smithsonian site was at the top. Another day, Reed Park Zoo was at the top. One day, the BBC was at the top. And it just kind of keeps going and rolling between at least four sites. So I grabbed research information when one of these were at the top. And then I came back the next day and realized the SERPs were still not stable and flipping around. And this is what you need to be careful of. Because if I say, okay, Quora's at the top today, and this is my main competitor, what do I I need to do to my site to match more of whatever Quora is doing and I update my site come to find out Quora is really going to be ranking fifth position once the SERP settle out I have now updated and compared my site to the fifth position instead of the first. So if your SERPs are not stable, you are running a risk of comparing your site to the wrong site. Now, when will this settle out? Traditionally, we see the SERPs start to settle down once the updates have said that they are ending. And then a week or two into that, the SERPs usually settle down so that there's usually one winner that stays at the top until we go through the shuffle again. Right now with the sites that I'm working on, the SERPs are not stable. Stable, and I can do a different report every day and compare my site against four or five different sites that are hitting the number one spot every other day, which isn't that helpful. Now, if the SERPs stay this way, then certainly I would take the four top sites that keep ranking in the first position filter through those to see who has the best of the best. If I have to, let's say the SERPs never calm down and let's say this becomes the new normal, which I have no idea if this is the new normal or not. I am the type of person that believes it when I see it and not a day before that. But if it does become the new normal, then I'll have a system to get around it. But right now, I'm still waiting for the SERPs to settle out or see that if they will once the core update has completed. I know we are all in a hurry to update our sites and get ourselves back to the top. But what I want to caution you is this part is the new normal. We will not have the days like we used to in the good old days where we would rank a site and then not touch it for the next six years. And it would just remain at the top. Do you remember those days? Those days are gone. This is the new normal. Google has the ability to turn the dial on any of our ranking factors at any time that it wants. And we have 
have to update our sites to comply. So to update your site, the SERPs have to be settled out. And if they never settle out, I will have a workaround for that. But right now I am seeing four or five different sites taking number one for the same term, depending on what day it is. They are flipping back and forth in between. It's almost impossible to tell you right now who the winner is going to be or how to adjust your site to beat that winner if I am still not sure who's going to take first position for right now. So I'm still going to caution you. There are things that you can do to your website. I'll link you to that video that you don't have to wait on. But if you're trying to compare your content to your competitor's content, make sure your competitor is actually stable in the SERPs and is the right competitor that you need to be pairing yourself against.